Hi and welcome to another exciting edition of The Property Show. Today, it's all about promising counties expected to shift the real estate landscape in 2020. The accessory spot will bring contemporary wall decor tips to enhance a home with a modern touch. The home ownership segment will share experiences and lessons learned on the home ownership journey. Pragmatic approach that a lot of successful property owners take. They get in where they can fit in, they save what they can, and they buy when the market is right. You know, your home, like I said, is your, you know, it's your haven, it's your space, it's your little castle. Sit back, relax, and enjoy highlights of the best takes you can put your money on across the country. Just remember, on this show, there is something for everyone. Today, we look at the most promising counties expected to drive the real estate landscape in 2020. We kick off with the city under the sun, Nairobi County. The capital city of any country will always be at the top of the heap when it comes to real estate investments. Why, you may ask. The capital city enjoys high capital expenditure on infrastructure. It also has the highest population and spending power in the country. Nairobi County is home to the best of all worlds, retail centers, commercial hubs, and mixed-use developments. If you're an investor looking for high returns in this sector, Nairobi County should be your first choice. Next, a sneak peek of investments you can put your money on in Nairobi County. First, strategically located within the quiet environs of State House Road, Milimani Executive Apartments capture the true essence of urban living. Let's get a closer look. Located along State House Road, Milimani Executive Apartments are three bedrooms all on suite development with DS cubes. The plinth area of the development is 209 and 183 square meters for the three bedrooms with and without DS cube respectively. The project consists of 104 executive modern apartments distributed in five blocks. Amenities include a common cloakroom at the entrance, spacious lounge with large windows and sliding doors leading to the balcony, spacious separate dining area, kitchen with top and bottom storage spaces as well as granite countertops, pantry area, utility area, wooden floors with exception of tiles in the bathroom and kitchen areas. The first bedroom is ensuite, fitted with wardrobes, a shower cubicle, bathroom sink, as well as a sliding door leading to the balcony. The second bedroom is also en suite, fitted with wardrobes, a shower cubicle and bathtub, bathroom sink, as well as a sliding door leading to the balcony. Finally, the master en suite bedroom comes with his and hers walk-in closet, a bathtub, shower cubicle, balcony, and a DSQ. Other features include 24-hour manned gates, an electric fence, CCTV cameras, intercom, panic buttons, vibration sensors on all the windows, smoke detectors, a clubhouse with a gym, steam and sauna for ladies and gents, swimming pool, backup generator, a borehole, cabra paved walkways, well manicured garden, two parking slots per unit, two lifts on each floor.
Next, Lemark, an iconic commercial and residential address expected to change the Westland skyline. This beautiful project is designed to create the ideal contemporary urban, residential, as well as a commercial address. It comes with everything, including efficient floor plan designs, adequate natural light. Let's get some insights. Lomac is a state-of-the-art 24-story building with a mix of residential, commercial and recreational spaces. The development is strategically located at the heart of Westlands, off Waiyaki Way, benefiting from Westlands amenities or being on the off-route, lending its excellent accessibility from Nairobi's growing infrastructure network. The first six floors are dedicated to commercial spaces, the seventh floor is the service area. The eighth to twentieth floors are residential apartments. Twenty-third is for conferencing facilities. And the twenty-fourth is for recreational activities including a gym, swimming pool, steam and sauna, a skywalk, restaurant and bar, as well as a terrace. The development consists of one, two and three bedroom residential apartments. The one and three bedrooms are sold out but available to let. The amenities in the two bedrooms include open plan spaces that are designed to optimize functionality while exuding a luxurious feel. Various sizes of two bedrooms, master ensuite, starting from a plinth area of 73 square meters to 107 square meters. Built-in wardrobes, a modern open plan, fully fitted kitchen with a microwave, oven, dishwasher, washing machine and the hood. Kitchen opens to the dining area, spacious lounge with floor to ceiling windows overseeing beautiful views of the city as well as the hills. Salient features include tight security from the 24-hour CCTV surveillance, guards, entry access card for tenants and visitors, centralized gas and hot water supply, fiber optic connectivity on all floors, seven high-speed lifts, ample parking space on three basements with a mechanical system, also commercial spaces available from 147 square meters, and they benefit from the Lomac internal environment and recreational facilities, and the tenants are at liberty to customize their interiors. The prices are on inquiry. investment option here in Nairobi County is West Point Apartments. This project defines convenience, ideal for entry-level homeowners as well as investors. What makes this project special is the social amenities, the swimming pool, rooftop terrace, gym, parking lobby, high-speed lifts, plus its close proximity to the CBD. West Point is a development of 254 two- and three-bedroom apartments strategically located just minutes away from the CBD. The project consists of 13 floors with two wings, the east and west wing. There are different typologies including standard, premium and deluxe for the two-bedroom apartments plus three bedrooms with a plinth area of 58, 67, 70 and 103 square meters respectively. The amenities in the apartments include spacious lounge and dining area with an open plan concept, balcony overseeing the beautiful neighborhood, a fully fitted kitchen with a cooker and hood, oven, washer plus a dryer, cabinets for storage, master ensuite bedroom with inbuilt wardrobes for storage and atrium allowing in light into the building. 
Their building is octagon shaped creating space for each apartment's entryway. Wide corridors and spacious stairs. The salient features include internet and DSTV connection in each apartment, three high-speed lifts with an extra one designated for the parking silo, parking silos with designated spots for each apartment plus extra parking space for the visitors, swimming pool and gym with ladies and gents changing rooms, a steam room as well as a roof terrace on the 12th and 13th floor of the West Wing, City Council water supply plus a borehole with water tanks for storage, landscape gardens, backup generator. For security, there is 24-hour manned gate, perimeter wall with electric fence, a reception plus smart controls. Construction of West Point is complete and 60% of the project is already occupied. There are apartments to buy and to let. Finally, in Nairobi County, we find Bandari Apartments, my shoot location. This project ticks all the boxes from location, location, location. Price, design, inspiring a new wave of living. Let's see what's available. Bandari Apartments offer the privacy of community living with high-level security. The development will comprise of three blocks of 198 three-bedroom units. The apartments come in two sizes, middle units of 168 square meters, while the corner apartments have size of 171 square meters. Accommodation features include spacious lounge come dining opening to the balcony, Open plan kitchen fitted with MDF high and low level cabinets and granite worktop, pantry, laundry area, visitors cloakroom. All bedrooms are en suite and fitted with MDF wardrobes, en suite domestic staff quarter. Salient features include perimeter wall, carbro paved driveways, ample parking, two high speed lifts, common areas power backup, landscaping, children's play area underground and overhead storage water tanks, internet and MATV connectivity, main and borehole water supply and solar water heating. From the capital city, we head off to a county that serves as Nairobi's bedroom, Kiambu County. With the upgrade of infrastructure across the county, towns like Kino, Kikuyu, Sigona, Rironi, Thika, and Ruaka have become hotspot residential hubs, turning this county as the number one ideal investment location. Next, investments you can put your money on in the Kiambu County. Kencom Sako Villas are located in the secure, private and tranquil environment of Kiambu. This project has amenities you can't beat, including a man-made lake, a commercial centre, a nursery school, a clubhouse, a playground and a swimming pool. It is also home for nature lovers with a liking for calm spaces.
Located in Kiambu, along Paradise Lost Road, Kenkom Sako Villas are a treasure. The homes are only a few minutes away from Paradise Lost, in a secure, private and tranquil environment, suitable for nature lovers with a liking for calm spaces. Accommodation comprises of spacious living room, separate dining area, spacious kitchen with service area, dobe area, visitor's cloakroom, two bedrooms with shared bathroom, master bedroom en suite and balcony. Salient features include 24-hour security, perimeter wall, cabra paved parking, shopping centre, recreational centre, school, man-made lake, swimming pool, two garages and clubhouse. Kiambu County is Lifestyle Heights, located along Roiro Kiambu Road. This community of two and three bedroom apartments has adequate children's play areas, a commercial center, sufficient water storage, standby generators, ample parking, and also comes with a lot of greenery. The first phase of this project is complete and occupied. Let's see what's available today. The Lifestyle Estates bring to you the lifestyle you always wanted at Lifestyle Heights Apartments. Lifestyle Heights Apartments consists of two and three bedroom deluxe and standard apartments. Three bedroom deluxe apartments have a plinth area of 132 square meters, while the standard has a plinth area of 115 square meters, and the two bedroom deluxe apartment has plinth area of 100 square meters and the standard has 81 square meters. This development comprises 472 units master en suite. It is conveniently located along Roiro Kiambu Road, 20 kilometers from Nairobi CBD. Accommodation features include a hardwood mahogany door that invites you to a spacious lounge fitted with large windows to allow in natural light. The mid wall has special effect setting it apart from the other walls making it unique. An aluminum door seamlessly leads you to the beautifully tiled balcony which can act as a chill spot for you and your family. The kitchen comes fitted with tiled walls which are accentuated with upper and lower cabinets which offer sufficient storage. While in the kitchen, there is a door which leads to Dobie area which is also fitted with well laid out tiles and a sink plus tub. The master bedroom is fitted with large windows that let in natural light. The spacious inbuilt cupboards provide a sufficient storage, a dressing counter. Given that it's ensuite, the bathroom consists of a shower cubicle fitted with a rain shower head system. The two bedrooms also consist of spacious inbuilt closets complete with large windows. They share a common bathroom which is fitted with tiles. leafy neighborhood of the Degwa off Kiambu Road, we see another exciting project, Red Rose Gardens. This project comes with thoughtful and functional designs with beautiful touches all round. The cherry on top is the close proximity to leading shopping malls as well as local and international schools.
Red Rose Gardens, a modern apartment complex located in Fidigua along Kiambu Road, adjacent to Quick Mart Supermarket, 100 meters from the main road. The development consists of 43 three-bedroom apartments plus a DSQ with a plinth area of 154 square meters. Accommodation features include a spacious living room area with wide sliding windows that leads to the balcony area, large windows letting in natural light, separate dining area, a common cloakroom for the guests, modern kitchen with granite countertops, top and bottom cabinets for storage in the kitchen, wood floors and tile finishing making the interior aesthetics more appealing, spacious bedrooms with closets for storage. Other amenities shall include installed solar panels for water heating, in-house gym plus a social hall, perimeter wall with electric fencing and CCTV cameras for security, connection to the Nairobi Water Mains water supply, an underground 60,000 litres water reservoir tank plus extra 1,000 litre water tanks for each unit. A total of 90 parking spots providing two per unit and extra ones for guests. Power backup generator for the common areas. In Nairobi's bedroom, we explore Sujnam Heights, perfectly located in a quiet neighborhood with open spaces easily transitioning from one room to another. Here is more. Sujnam Heights apartments are a modern development for today's living. This development is perfectly located in a quiet neighborhood in the Digwa of Kiambu Road, consisting of 18 units of spacious three-bedroom master ensuite executive apartments with a studio. These secure, affordable homes have excellent amenities, giving your family comfort and convenience. Accommodation features include spacious, airy lounge with large windows to maximize flow of natural light, dining area, overlooks the large open-plan concept kitchen, fully fitted with cabinets for sufficient storage, spacious ensuite master bedroom, fitted with closets and a bathroom area, which features shower cubicle, WC, and with cabinets for storage purposes. The first and second bedroom are also spacious and are fitted with closets for storage purposes. Self-contained studio and utility area with an independent entrance. The balcony offers views of the area. Salient features include security, electric fence and razor wire, CCTV surveillance, elevator access, carbro driveway, secure and ample parking, backup generator, underground water storage, sewer treatment plant and children's playing area. remained a top real estate investment hotspot is county number 034 Kajiado County. This county boasts of plenty of land at affordable prices and two new SGR stations located along the satellite towns of Ongata Rongai and Gong Town expected to open up the road infrastructure. Let's have a look at investments that continue to bloom in this county. Savannah Park, a site and service land scheme located in a tranquil neighborhood, surrounded by mature trees, beautiful views of Gong Hills, and in close proximity to the SGR. Let's see what's available here.
Savannah Park Rongai is located in the outskirts of Ongata Rongai town, which is one of the satellite towns 10 kilometers northwest of Nairobi city. The property is near the road linking Ongata Rongai, Nazarene University and the new SGR station. The road from the SGR to Savannah Park is graded to Maram standard and is just a five minute drive to the entrance gate. Savannah Park Rongai has 200 plots located one kilometer from the new Rongai Kisarian SGR railway station and three kilometers from Nazarene University. The plots are suitable for residential homes due to the close proximity to the famous Rimpa Conservancy. They also offer a beautiful view of Gong Hills. The plots are fully serviced with piped water, a borehole and electricity on site. Each individual plot is fenced after payment is complete. The site and service land scheme also has a plan of three and four bedroom missionettes with a team of professionals to help jumpstart your home ownership journey. This comes at a separate fee. We head off to an estate nestled in the Acacia neighborhood, Royal Gates Estate. This project comes with a functional floor plan, indoor and outdoor spaces that flow effortlessly, providing comfort living. Royal Gates is a gated community located in Acacia, four kilometers from Kitangela town. This development consists of 78 four-bedroom detached townhouses. Amenities include a spacious lounge with a separate dining area, modern kitchen fitted with quality appliances and ample storage space, master ensuite bedroom with inbuilt wardrobes and a bathtub, an ensuite guest bedroom, two additional bedrooms with a common bathroom, internet ready as well as a centralized TV port. Other features include detached ensuite DSQ with ample wash area, two parking slots per house, a swimming pool, a fully equipped gym, borehole and wastewater recycling system, private gardens, children's playground, CCTV cameras, electric fence and perimeter walls for security, street lighting, solar power. The expected completion date of the first phase is March and the second phase is expected to be complete by March 2021. Today, it's all about top promising counties expected to drive the real estate landscape in 2020. Another county we can count on to drive the sector is like Kipia County, known as a melting pot of culture, famous for large-scale farming, ranches, wildlife conservancies, and home to the British Army training grounds. This county is a hotspot for luxury hotels and holiday homes, making it a great investment location. Here is a snippet of what's available. Sweet Waters is a service land scheme located just a few kilometers from Nanyuki town and have a 100% view of Mount Kenya and Abadea ranges, offering you the perfect nature and serene vibes. Sweetwater service plots are located 7 kilometers from Nanyuki town, next to the renowned Alpajeta Conservancy, and 800 meters from the newly tarmacked Marura Matanya Road. The site is currently fenced, and over 1,000 indigenous trees planted along the fence, with 100% views of Mount Kenya and Aberdare Ranges. 
Sweet Waters offers quarter and half acre ready to build plots. The master plan is complete with the subdivision plan available and the plots come with electricity and water connection, a common gate, 9 meters wide access road, children play area, jogging track, landscaped design, architectural plans are also available with flexibility to customize the plans to meet individual needs. The price for the quarter acre is 999,000 Kenya shillings and the price for the half acre is 1,990,000 Kenya shillings. County takes us to a gated community of four bedroom maisonettes. This exclusive private development comes with large living and separate dining areas, a fully fitted kitchen and private individual gardens. This is an ideal investment for long and short stay. Mukuria Gardens is located in Mothaiga, two kilometers from Nanyuki town. This gated community of two levels, four bedroom maisonettes consists of four intimate units. The amenities include large living room and separate dining area, a fully equipped kitchen with a fridge, cooker, microwave, plus utensils and pantry, four bedrooms all en suite, a common washroom, Wi-Fi internet connection, as well as TV. Other features include four parking slots per house, 20,000 litres of water storage tanks, electricity and backup, 24-hour manned gate, an electric fence, and an alarm system and boilers for heating water. I must say, 2020 is a promising year for real estate investments across the country. Next week, we continue highlighting top promising counties expected to drive the real estate sector this season. We are taking a short break. Coming up, the accessory spot with contemporary wall decor tips plus inspiring lessons learned on the home ownership journey, plus much, much more. Don't go away, we'll be right back after the break. Welcome back. You're watching The Property Show. Next, the accessory spot with contemporary wall decor tips to enhance a home with a modern touch. Wall decor is a sure way to add a touch of style to your home. From minimalist wall decor to a collection of photos and frames, you can transform your room with a personalized display. You may begin by using shelves. Install floating shelves and display small sculptures and other odds and ends. This will not only have a decorative effect, but also provide additional storage space. Make a gallery wall. You could display a collection of paintings and photographs on a wall to add personality and color to the room. To maintain a neutral and modern touch on your gallery wall, use a collection of blacks, whites, and wood tone pieces. For a balanced gallery wall, choose an assortment of photos and include vacation snapshots or candidates, or family and friends. Incorporate new roles. 
New rolls are the best way to add personality and style to a wall. Whether you hand paint it or choose a wall covering, the design will definitely make a big impact on that empty wall. If you're looking to tone down a room, why not try adding chalkboard art on the wall? A chalkboard is a perfect functional addition as it lends a rustic feel to any room. Take advantage of the magic of mirrors. Decorative mirrors can be used to create a beautiful effect in a room. For rooms with a limited amount of light, mirrors directly placed against the windows or doors add instant light making a small room feel larger. Try hanging an oversized mirror or display several smaller pieces for the perfect outcome. Hung plants on the wall. Greenery adds the extra pop of color and outdoor feel to any room. There are so many ways to display hanging plants on walls. You could try using ladder plants, stands, or using colored pots to create contrast on the wall. Centerpiece clocks. A large clock works especially well on an office or living room wall. Keep track of time while also adding a standout element to liven up your room. Try bright and bold clocks to create a modern look or wooden clocks for that old rustic feel. Include large scale art. Having an oversized painting or photograph will command attention and set the tone in a small space. It is important to not only find a piece that physically fits in your space, but anchors the room. Black and white paintings could be used to tone down and create contrast in a vibrant room. Finally, accent walls are another way to spruce up your walls. Why not try decorating the wall itself? Try using a bright and bold paint color to create an accent wall or bring in pattern and texture with wallpaper. Accent walls can have an even bigger impact in a small space. Here at the Property Show, we work with interior designers across board who would be happy to work with you and turn your house into a dream home. Just give us a call and let's hold your hand every step of the way. Next, my favorite segment of the show with lessons and inspiring stories on home ownership journey. Karibu Sana on the show. Thank you. And who is Nuru? So Nuru is a mother. Um, I work in the banking industry. I'm also um, a Christian and a community advocate. Yes. Wow. And when did you start your home ownership journey? So I started my home ownership journey when I finished college, uh, university uh, in the US. Uh, my sisters and I pooled our resources together and we were able to buy um, a home, a three bedroom home. Uh, yes. Wow. You know a lot of people say that the market in the U.S. is completely different from mm. what we have in Kenya. Basically, you were young. Yes. How did you start? How come in Kenya we are not able to start the journey when we are young? This is true. What's the difference? So, the difference between the U.S. at that time and now is there were a lot of programs encouraging first-time homeowners. So, there were lots of tax incentives and there were additional tax incentives if you are a minority. Um, so we were first time homeowners and we were uh, categorized as black, obviously, because we're not African American, but we're categorized as a black minority. So we're able to take advantage of that um, to, to access the, the property market. I think here the difference is I'm not seeing the same types of, types of tax programs and incentive programs to, to stimulate that uh, home ownership uh, movement. Do you think if 
we change some of the policies, it would stimulate more people to get in onto the property ladder. Absolutely, absolutely. Because we, the three of us, we were three of us, we would not have been able to afford a home individually. Mm -hmm. Even when we pulled our resources, probably we might not have been able to afford the type of home that we got through a mortgage. Mm -hmm. um, so if we can look at, from a policy perspective, if we can look at um, some of those best practices in such markets, I think we would be able to see higher uptake in, in homes. Let's come back home. Yes. And how did this get started in Kenya? So I think the experience from the US taught me uh, a few vital lessons. One, to get into a home, uh, you need to save. Um, you need to have some resources saved up. Um, I remember we were literally going on a forced diet so we can afford our first home. So we cut back on a lot of the, the expenses that we had. Mm -hmm. um, I drove a Toyota. A lot of people were up, upgrading their cars. I stayed with the same car for many years. Um, so I borrowed that learning when I came back. The fact that you need to save, you need to be pragmatic. Mm, the second lesson I, I borrowed from that experience here is this idea of getting in where you can fit in. So Everybody I, wants to start in Runda. Yes, <laughs> everyone wants to be in Runda in or in Karen. They money. want to have a plot in Yanyuki yes. um, and another one in Naivasha. And sometimes, you know what, your, your budget cannot afford that. Um, and, and I think it's that pragmatic approach that a lot of successful property owners take. They get in where they can fit in, they save what they can, and they buy, when the market is right, what they can afford. Let's talk about what you bought in Kenya. Yeah. Where did you buy? How did you pick it? Who helped you? Who yes. financed? Where, how did you manage your finances? This time you're alone. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, this time I'm alone. Uh, it took me about um, uh, four years, actually, to save. I saved for four years and then I got a mortgage. So the mortgage plus my savings was able to help me get an apartment. Um, and how I found the apartment is just, I started looking around, driving around. Um, I asked the caretaker where I was renting to help me look. I'll give you some money to be my agent. So he would get on a matatu and go around looking uh, for homes. Um, so I looked at many different homes. I actually started up here. I started thinking, oh, I need a nice big home because I work in the banking industry. Mm -hmm. So I thought, oh, I need a big house and I need, but I need to get a big mortgage. And then I reminded myself, listen, you need to get in where you can fit in. Don't go for the Runda if you cannot sustain a Runda mortgage. What did you like about the apartment you bought? Yes. Is it the location mm. and what are the amenities that really uh, caught your eye? So uh, I'm a big believer in, in being simple. So I, I, I don't, we grew up, where we grew up, we would commute long distances to go to school. And I felt that for my daughter, I didn't want this idea of long commutes. Um, so I was looking at proximity to schools. I was looking at proximity to shopping, shopping kiosks and infrastructure to allow me to get in and out. Um, I was also looking at amenities within the compound. Is there a backyard for the children to play? Is there a swimming pool? Um, so I was looking for all those amenities. And, and those are actually the typical amenities that drive house prices. Yes. So as much as you might be looking at those amenities for your personal benefit, they help you when you're ready to sell that property, yes. get a better price. Yes. So you bought the house. What were the challenges and how did you pull finances? Okay, so I got a mortgage, I saved and got a mortgage and um, some of the challenges I think was on the legal process. I think the legal process in this country is takes just, too long. Oh my goodness, it's just, that's one of the biggest deterrents I think yes. to home ownership. Um, it took me almost a year to go through, to complete, to complete the transaction. The, the, the transaction. Um, because of the search in the lands office, the charging uh, of the title deed, and, and then you get the mortgage and, and you proceed, but the land office process was just, it was terrible. We really need to do something around automating yes. the process. Yeah. I think that's something that is ongoing I think now. it's ongoing now. And I but think the day we get it right, it's yeah. going to just ease a lot of the, the difficulties that people encounter yes. when buying property. Absolutely. For starters, I would never have borrowed against my home to start a business. 
it's really for me was the beginning of the end. So you've worked so hard, you bought, you know, I had bought my first apartment and then I'd sold that, I'd bought a second place, I had a little bed sitter that I knew, you know, I, I had a tenant, but then I went into business and I borrowed against, I took a second mortgage over those homes um, um, in order for me to raise the money I needed uh, for my business. So two lessons for me from that is one, don't borrow to set up a business. And I think anybody who has been in business um, and is successful today will tell you, if you're a startup, don't borrow at all. Grow your business slowly. But if you have to borrow, do not borrow against your home. Grow organically, grow um, your business slowly. What I did is I started a business and I took a second mortgage on my home, what they used to call a covering bond, to raise the money to secure the financing I needed for my business. It was new and everything, so you know, no history. It so was I, just a dream then. It was a dream. <laughs> and a beautiful dream. And I can dream. tell you, irrespective of whether that business is earning a single cent, within 45 days of you signing on the dotted line and get and drawing down on that facility, you have to repay. So it is. So you need the patient capital, either from a venture capitalist or whatever you want to call them, friends or your own savings, because the banks are ruthless. If that business does not work, what have you given us security? Your and home. remember, you're also paying more on that mortgage because it's a second mortgage. So your home. So the business, for whatever reason, very many things outside our control didn't work, and so I lost the business and I lost the home. That was painful. You know, your home, like I said, is your, you know, it's your haven, it's your space, yes. it's your little castle, you know, and, and that's where you go when everything is, you know, falling apart. And then that goes as well. So it was a very, very difficult journey. And today I, you know, when I talk to people, I tell them, don't borrow, don't borrow. What can you do differently? And even now that I, when I started my practice, I said, I am not borrowing a cent. You start in a small space, work or whatever, build your capital, move to the next space. Finding an ideal home is no easy feat. And that's where we come in. Working with Fast Avenue will help narrow down options available in the market at your price point. Just visit our offices or give us a call and we'll be delighted to start the journey together. We all agree the real estate sector in 2019 weathered a trying period. But as we enter 2020, we expect emerging markets, pricing correction, innovation, affordable housing program, and top promising counties to shift the landscape. Thank you for watching The Property Show. Next Sunday, we take stock on the affordable housing program and what to expect this season. It is with great pleasure that I stand before you today as we officially receive the first batch of the flagship housing units under the Affordable Housing Program Initiative. From the onset, allow me to say that this project is significant to us all as it demonstrates the government's commitment to delivering affordable housing, which is one of the big four agenda priorities. I'm satisfied with the work that is being done. I have had a chance to visit some other countries and I have seen the resemblance of the affordable housing. This is a high note. Let's continue the conversation on our social media handles. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri, 